The United States has just created a new kamikaze drone squadron by reverse engineering the Iranian Shahed-136, the same delta-shaped drones that Russia used to devastating effect in Ukraine and Iran used to saturate Israeli air defenses. Here's what you need to know about Task Force Scorpion Strike. The new squadron is composed of low-cost unmanned combat attack systems, called Lucas drones. If the design looks familiar, that's because the US military copied the Iranian blueprint that has changed warfare forever. The Shahed-136 costs just $20,000, has a range of 1,800 to 2,500 kilometers, flies at 185 kilometers per hour, and carries a 20-kilogram warhead. They fly low to the ground, making them hard for radars to spot, and operate as a swarm fired in batches of five to overwhelm air defenses. But the US version, the Lucas drone, is roughly 10 feet long with an 8-foot wingspan. It uses a two-cylinder DA215 engine instead of the Shahed's four-cylinder Limbeck L550E clone, providing enhanced fuel efficiency and a reduced acoustic signature. Its modular open architecture can carry reconnaissance sensors, electronic warfare modules, and explosive warheads. Why is America doing this? Iran and its allies have hammered U.S. bases for months since October 7th. One Iranian drone attack on a Jordanian outpost killed three U.S. service members. Houthis have continuously fired drones and missiles at commercial shipping in the Red Sea. The U.S. is scrambling to deploy these inexpensive but deadly accurate drones because they can't afford to keep using million-dollar missiles against $20,000 drones. But here's the global twist. Russia has already developed its own version called the Garon-2, mass-producing them at the Alabuga Special Economic Zone in Tatarstan. China has the Long M9, which closely resembles the Shahed-136. The Iranian drone has become the blueprint that other nations are now scrambling to deploy in the next war that will reshape global geopolitics. The question is, should the US be copying enemy technology, or is this smart adaptation to modern warfare? Will this drone arms race make the world safer, or are we one miscalculation away from drone swarms devastating cities?